Hey guys, hey there, welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in, come on in. It is Winning Wednesday. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready for this Winning Wednesday? We are winning and living golden. And I wanna thank you for joining me here on my YouTube channel, Winning and Living Golden, where we are winning in all areas of life. We're winning in our life, we're winning in our finances, we're winning in in our, uh, our spirit, our heart, our mind, and we are winning in business. And so today is the first Wednesday of June. Oh my gosh, we are almost six months into this 2022 year. And on the first Wednesday of the month, we come in and we talk about life topics. So I have an amazing life topic to share with you today. Oh my gosh. So again, first Wednesday, life topic. Second Wednesday, we're talking finances, whether that's your business, that's your personal finance. Um, and then on the third Wednesday, we come in, we're talking spirit, things to help you grow and enhance your spirit, your heart and your mind. And then on the fourth Wednesday of the month, we come back in and we talk business stuff. So I am Lisa L. McLean. I'm the certified financial educator. I am a certified financial education instructor. I am an entrepreneur and small business owner for over 25 years. I uh, left the corporate world um, in my uh, financial executive position for over 20 something years. Um, and I um, am doing this full time to help entrepreneurs, small business owners, and those aspiring to start your own business. And so my goal, my desire, my passion is to uh, cater to the whole entrepreneur, to cater to the whole person. And so that's going to help you in your life, your personal and your business finances, your uh, spirit, and then also your business. I'm an ordained minister. So a lot of what you hear me say is going to be spiritual based. And even today, even though today is not word and worship with Lisa, Today is our regular Winning Wednesday. I come in on the third third Wednesday and do Word and Worship with Lisa. But I was so pressed in my spirit to share um, this information that um, just came to me yesterday during my worship time with God. And I want to share this information with you. I think this encouragement um, is going to really help a lot of us um, where we don't realize what we have what we have. So today, again, it's Life Topic Wednesday. And on this episode of Winning with Lisa Ware, we win, we win, we win. I am going to be sharing with you information about your bag of tricks, your bag of tricks. And so you know, sometimes there's a song, there's a, it's an old song. It's an old gospel song that says, sometimes you have to encourage yourself. Sometimes you have to speak victory during the test. Anybody know that song? If you don't know that song, that song is really talking about you speaking to yourself and encouraging yourself as you go through this life, as you, as you go through trials, as you go through different things in life that come to try and take you down, break you down, tear you down, you've got to encourage yourself. And I began thinking about that. And what God gave me was that we all have a bag of tricks. So let's go in, let's dive into this information today of how we can encourage ourselves with our bag of tricks. Many times we go to others for help, right? We go to others for counsel, for solutions, when we're in trouble, uh, when life throws, you know, different, different things at us, when life throws us lemons, as they say. And there's nothing wrong with having a small circle of confidants. I definitely believe in having those close friends that you can trust, that um, have proven themselves to you that you can trust them. Um, but also seeking professional help in a counselor or a therapist. I am definitely a proponent of that. 
uh, <laughs> of, have, of getting professional help for your life. And I've been in counseling for many years in my life uh, to help me through those, those tougher times, the, the tougher um, situations and, and just for mental health maintenance, you know, there's nothing wrong with, um, just, you know, going and, and just talking with a therapist or a counselor, just making sure, you know, I'm doing good. You know, I'm still on the path. I'm still on the golden path. Um, but I came here to today to share with you that there is something you already have that can help you, you know, without you having to go to others all of the time. And it doesn't mean that you shouldn't go to others. Again, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't go to others for help or for guidance or suggestions or recommendations or advice or whatever. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is that you have another tool in your arsenal, in your repository of help that God wants you to use. And it's your bag of tricks. So a bag of tricks I looked up the definition because the, the thought just came to me, bag of tricks, as I began just kind of uh, meditating on what I want to share with you for this Winning Wednesday. And so I looked up the definition and a bag of tricks is one's entire resources. It says it refers to the bag of a, of a, of a magician, which contains all of the paraphernalia needed to perform his tricks. So if you think about that, that bag that the magician carries when he's on stage, that's what that's called. It's called a bag of tricks. And this expression dates back at least as far as um, one of Jean de la Fontaine's fables from 1694. It's where a fox carries a sack of tricks. And this phrase uh, became especially common in Victorian literature. So it's also defined, bag of tricks is also defined as an item that one has available for use or the skills that one has available for use. It can be a collection of special techniques or methods, ingenious plans or resources. So I want you to understand what this bag of tricks is. Um, and let's go, let's go deeper. Let's dive deeper in talking about this bag of tricks and how you can use it for your life. You know, magicians reach into their bag of tricks and, and it helps to aid them in their performance, right? Sometimes seemingly, seemingly making something out of nothing. And I want to let you know that you are, a magician. you are a magician. You are a magician. You have made something out of nothing at some point in your life or many times in your life, whether it was a meal whether you were scraping pennies and change to, to make a purchase, whatever it was, you have accomplished that. Um, and you have made it through what may have seemed impossible at the time. Can you remember those times in your life where you just did not know how it was going to happen, how you were going to make it? Um, but you made it through and you accomplished some feats that some others couldn't. Um, and you didn't even think you would be able to, but praise God, you made it and you did it. Um, you have created a precedence. I want you to get this. You have pre created a precedent in your life. Something that you can look back on as the evidence that sets a standard for your life. You have created historical value you have created historical value. You, like the magician, can reach into your bag of tricks <laughs> to aid you in your performance in life. This thing called life, this performance called life, you have a bag of tricks that you can, you can use, that you can dip into to aid you in this performance called life. And you have receipts in that bag. You have receipts. You know how they say, I got the receipts. Well, you got the receipts. So receipts that show that you paid the price to arrive at where you are. You are strong. Oh my gosh, you are so strong. You have testimonies of how you got through that incident, through that trial, through that tough time. Those are your receipts. That's your evidence. And guess what? You picked up some knowledge along the way, some skills along the way, some capabilities along the way through every adversity, you learned something. You became better, you grew, you became stronger. 
more resilient. You know some things now. You have a bag of tricks. You made it here today and your bag of tricks is your evidence. Your bag of tricks when stuff, you use that bag of tricks when, when stuff comes at you. That's what your bag of tricks that you are accumulating is for. You can reach into that proverbial bag of tricks into your repository, into that arsenal, and you can show that thing, whatever it is that has the audacity to come at you, to threaten you, you can show it. See, I did it before. I made it through before and with God's help, I will do it again. God is a God of the encore. And as his children were made in his image and as believers, we are filled with his spirit so we can do it again because he does it again and again. And I want you to receive this today. I want you to really get this inside your spirit so that as you walk through life, you can walk with confidence and assurance, knowing that whatever life throws at you, you're prepared, you're ready because you have a bag of tricks. I believe God doesn't cause bad things to happen in our lives. I believe that that's just the effect of, of a sin world. But I believe he allows some things to happen to make us stronger, to make us more resilient, to, to build our confidence in ourselves and in him. And he always turns things around. He always works everything together for our good for those who love him and are called to according to his purpose. But these trials come, you've heard it. These trials come to make us strong, but they come to give us receipts too. Something to rely on, something to look on later to say, see, I almost didn't make it, but here I am today. Yeah, you almost took me out, but I made it. Yeah, you lied on me. Yeah, you abused me. Yeah, you hurt me. <laughs> you tried to make it seem like you were so innocent, but you will reap what you sow. And I am still here, glowing, growing, breathing, being, shining, rising. Yeah, you didn't give me that job. <laughs> Anybody can attest to that. Yeah, you didn't give me that job. Oh yeah, I lost my job, but I've been there before and I made it through. I got receipts. I got proof to show that I can make it through this too. So whatever your situation, whatever the circumstance, refer to your bag of tricks for comfort, for assurance, for examples, for your reminders that you made it before because you are here today and you will make it through again. So what I'm saying... <clears throat> What I'm saying is life, life is going to happen. Stuff is going to happen because it's life. It's what life is made of, the good and the bad. And it's not always easy. Lord knows. Ooh, it's not always easy. Life is made up of sinful people. So guess what? Sin is going to happen. And stuff will get hard at times, you know, that you think that you're not going to make it that you feel like, Lord, I, I don't see a way, I don't know how, but look at you, look at you, <laughs> you are still here. You're still here, you're living, you're breathing, and you might be kicking and screaming along the way, but you're here, and bless God that you are here. If you're 20, if you're 30, if you are 40, 50 and up, you have been through enough things, you have come through, enough uh, situations in life and came out on the other side that now you have a bag of tricks. You got evidence. You have solutions that show you that it happened before and you made it through. You got to pull into that, pull on that bag of tricks, uh, reach down into that bag of tricks for that evidence, for that proof, for that assurance. So when life throws you those hard situations, those devastating situations that make you feel like, Lord, I cannot make it through this. You are not alone. I've been through some horrible things too. 
physical, emotional, sex, sexual abuse, rape, depression, near death experiences at the hands of a loved one lost a job, been cheated on, been lied on. Come on. That, that's, that's enough to, to drive somebody crazy, but ooh, thank you, Lord. I'm here. I'm here in my right mind, sound, healthy body. Thank you, Lord. Still here living and kicking and breathing and growing and loving life. So I don't take the credit. No, I'm not saying I take the credit that I made it through all of that. I know my source is my heavenly father and that without him, I would not have this sound mind and I might not even be here. But I also realized that our father has allowed me to experience some of this stuff so that I can have that assurance that you got this, Lisa. You got this. No matter what life throws at you, you can make it through. So I know this, this is not Word and Worship Wednesday. This is not the third Wednesday. But when you're, talk, when you're talking life topics, it's hard not to talk about making it through life situations without honoring our creator who walks with us through it. So I want you to know that there is so much in your bag. There are learned lessons well, I won't do that again, or I won't go there again, or I, I know not to deal with this type person again. Not only did you make it out of that situation or make it through that life situation in your past, but you learned those lessons. You learned some lessons along the way that now you are smarter. Now you are better. Now you're more wise and thus you are better equipped to deal with the future situations. That's what I'm trying to get through to you. This should give you some comfort to know, no, I wasn't that prepared before, but because of my receipts now, because of what I went through, then I am better equipped, better prepared now. So if or rather when <laughs> something like that happens again, I'll be ready. I got the skills. I have built up some skills. I have built up some stamina. I have built up these receipts to show that I can make it through. So maybe you're like me. It took you several times of making the same poor choices over and over, over again in life, whether it was something that you were doing choosing wrong partners or spouses, choosing wrong jobs or friends. Sometimes it takes some of us more times than others to learn the lesson. But boy, when we get it, when we get it, oh, we got it now. Oh, we, we got it now. When we finally get it and learn that lesson, we have learned the lesson and we won't walk in that same way again. We won't choose that same decision Again, and there is no turning back to that old way of doing things, of being, of thinking, of, of loving, of choosing. Now we have a reinforced bag of tricks because we went through it several times, but we are that much stronger because of it. God bless you if it only took you one time to go through something for you to learn the lesson. Praise God for that. Um, I've done that in some areas of my life where I can admit that I've uh, not always, um, that's, that's not always been the case that it took me several times to go through something before I learned the lesson. So yes, some things I didn't even have to experience in order to learn the lesson. Um, I learned by watching others, like in the case of drinking and drugs, I was able to watch other people go through the effects of drinking alcohol or taking drugs. Um, to make the decision for my life, to learn that lesson for me that I will not choose this for my life. So I never had to go through that experience. But in some other areas, we will only have to experience things one time or never at all to learn the lesson. But there are other times that it might take us more than once. It might take us two, three, four times before we finally wake up 
finally see what it is. And I'm saying that we have a bag of tricks because of the lessons that we have learned, whether it took us several times or that one time, or it never had to learn the, learn the lesson through experience, but we were able to learn it through other, um, watching others. These are included in our bag of tricks. For instance, it took me, <laughs> it took me about 50 years to learn not to settle in relationships. And to choose my worth, to stand for my worth when it comes to partnering in romantic relationships. But even though that actual lesson was in the area of romantic relationships, I was able to apply that same learned lesson to not settle and to stand for my worth and set boundaries in my jobs and business with my family members in choosing friendships to where I live and what I tolerate in my life. So what I'm saying is that one lesson learned in one area can be broadly applied. So now I have a whole bag of tricks to pull those receipts out of, to pull that evidence out of that will help me to vet and choose well in several different areas of life. So now that you know <laughs> now that you know you have a bag, you have a bag of tricks. Use it. Go into your bag to remind yourself of the bad butt that you are. <laughs> of the bad behind that you are. Remind that enemy of your soul. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. I got receipts. It's I, like I said, sometimes you have to incur. Sometimes you have to encourage yourself. So speak victory, even though you're going through the test. Why? Because you know that God is with you and he has equipped you with the stuff that you need to make it. If you are here and you are living and you have experienced some things, you have built up some evidence, some proof, some receipts that should encourage you that this too will pass and that you can and you will make it through this too. Remember how, how hard it seemed at the time? Remember how you felt like you couldn't breathe and you didn't know how it would work out? You were at your wits end, at your wits end, but somehow things worked out out so that you live to experience another day, to wake up, to see another day, to breathe another day. And when you love the Lord and you're called according to his purpose, you have that assurance. It's a promise that everything, that all things work together for your good. So no, it's all good. It's all good. It might not look good. It might not feel good in the situation, in the, in the midst of that specific circumstance. But trust that it's all good. Now, it might not look like it. It might not feel like it. It might not seem like it in the midst of all the things, you know, all the things, all the things that's happening. But trust it will work out. You got the receipts, you pay for it. And now you have the proof that it does work out. You have a bag of tricks. I hope this information, I hope this, this word, this information, this knowledge has really penetrated your being, penetrated your mind and your soul so that you can have that assurance that I got this. No matter how bleak it looks, I have receipts. I have evidence. I have proof. I have a bag of tricks that reminds me that I made it through before and I'll make it through again. So be encouraged today. Follow me on my YouTube channel, Winning and Living Golden. I'm so thankful and so grateful and, and just you know, feel so humbled to have the opportunity to share with you entrepreneurs, small business owners, aspiring uh, small business owners, just the world information that I believe that will help you win and live 
golden in your life, in your finances, in your spirit, heart, and mind, and in your business. Lisa L. McLean, the Certified Financial Educator, thank you again for joining me here on this episode of Winning with Lisa, where we win, we win, we win. And I will see you guys back here next time. If you have not Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Please, please like. Please click share. Comment. Give me some comments. Leave some comments in the comment section so that we can get a conversation going. I would love to see what you have to say, what you have to share, um, and be able to um, impart uh, more information and knowledge and resources into you. I'll see you next time. Visit me on my website, www.lisalmclean.com. That's L-I-S-A-L-M-C-C-L-A-I-N.com for resources for your small business when it comes to bookkeeping, consulting with your operations, starting up your business, um, gosh, financial coaching for your personal life. I can help you and my my business, Golden Path Services, GPS can help show you the way to success. Thanks again for joining me here and I'll see y'all next time.